there's so much advancements in science today in terms of new drug development, immunotherapies. It's, it's just amazing everything we're seeing in terms of the progress being made. And uh, when we have difficult situations and we have these new treatments that are so well tolerated nowadays and can just make such a dramatic difference in people's lives, it's as a physician that's very gratifying to see patients who are out a number of years and went through such difficult moments and that we were there for them to be able to help them get through this. I've seen over the last 10 years our field really shift. Before we were using more chemotherapeutic agents and then we had the incoming of clinical trials that used immunotherapies. And I remember five, six years ago, I had a patient who we ran out of all options. Um, and unfortunately, he wouldn't have been around for very long, maybe a couple of months. And we put him on a clinical trial with one of these new immunotherapies, uh, which we are using today. And he's still alive to this day. And, you know, it's just, it was a miracle to see that. And one of the great things about Florida cancer is that we have access to phase one, phase two, and phase three clinical trials. So this patient who received this miraculous therapy with immunotherapy five years ago received it on a clinical trial. So now we have access to um, an incredible amount of um, active agents that have so much potential on trial, which uh, are gonna be the, the future in four to five years from now. And so that's just um, having access to that, um, to that capability is really what we need. We have the standard of care options to take care of patients, but to have, to go above and beyond that is, is really giving our patients the best options.